Hi, my name is Sherrier. So I'm back again with another video. I hope everyone is doing well today. Uh, today's presentation is on a very important one. As you can see, MC Exam Center. I've been a tutor for MC since last uh, seven years. It's my seven year. And uh, I've been trying to help a lot of IMGs with a lot of inquiries like that. So a very common question that often comes up is like, you know, is this country is having a center? Is this country is not having a center? So I thought of making a video on that one. I hope so. This will be a masterpiece video for AMC takers. Actually, there will not be any confusion. I have tried to highlight it, this one as some of the popular center. I mean, which is nearby from some of the countries where there is no center that actually exists. Um, and some of the cent countries has multiple centers, which we also try to highlight in that way. So let's go and see, you know, some of the things and let's go and start the session actually. Just to alert something like, you know, to schedule an MC exam event, you know, with the Pearson do you have to have obtained a position from the MC. It means what? It means that, you know, sometimes you might Google it, like, you know, Pearson Center in your country, it exists but you probably don't have any AMC center. Example, Bangladesh is also having a Pearson center. But does it mean, is it um, involving AMC exam? Answer is a no. So there's many country when they search, like example, Dubai, many people search is their Pearson center and they found it and they thought there is AMC center exist. It doesn't actually. For PLAP, there is Dubai center, by the way. For AMC, it doesn't. So this kind of thing will clear. So this is that, you know, important yellow line. Not all Pearson Boo conduct AMC exam. Pearson Boo conduct a lot of type of exam. Example, there's like a uh, SAT exam, GMAT exam, some of the US-based exam. That's why so many Pearson centers in US, Canada, and those countries. All right. so. I hope so far you're finding it useful. Um, you know, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please make sure you subscribe when you see this video. And please check by clicking the video section of this YouTube. There's so many other important, relevant, you know, AMC videos or Australian Medical Council related videos are available. Great. So let's move forward and see like, you know, this video we are, you know, recording on April 2023. So if there will be any update after this, you need to check with the websites actually. So that'll be great actually. All right. And also we have a group. I mean, Sherrier's AMC guideline group. So you can also join that Facebook group community and also ask your question. You know, we try to answer there as well. All right. So with that note, like the very fun first one is so many multiple centers. Of course, this Australian best exam, so many centers in Australia, definitely. And you can see, uh, you know, list of cities, you know, in Australia, you know, so including Sydney, Melbourne, Adelaide even Queensland, Brisbane, you know, Hobart, all everywhere, part, you know, everywhere it's there, right? So this is important, so far so good. And now comes uh, the Auckland, you know, because whenever we're talking with about Australia, so we should also talk about New Zealand and New Zealand does has center actually for uh, AMC. So uh, New Zealand candidates, you know, you don't have to worry, you know, you can always go to Auckland, so we have so many candidates that so they always go to Auckland for that exam. All right. There's some popular centers. Now, I, I want to highlight this last line, if you know, as in, you know, I don't like this. Please note center has nothing to do with passing it. I've been a tutor for seven years. Previously, I was student studying. So I've been following MC for eight, nine years, actually. I really didn't find anything. If I give my uh, some research on, you know, MC students, you know, I didn't find anything. Uh, it has to do anything with the center. I can tell you something hypothetical here, actually. You know, some people think, okay, in Australian centers, maybe, uh, less passing. There was a rumor, you know, you know, long back. So actually think in that way, like people in Australia, they do job nine to five, they're doing job. They also study after that. So their study hours sometimes less. Uh, not for all, many are dependent on their husband or wife, vice versa. So, but most of the people are, you know, they're doing some job in Australia. You can't really pay that amount of high, 
you know, living cost and, you know, high house rents, actually not everyone has family there. So you have to work and, you know, earn. So those living in Australia by this time and trying to prepare. So their preparation compared to in subcontinent countries, we see the preparation. So some cases, actually, those take some time, can take some break, has higher chances of passing. So that is why some people used to think that, you know, um, Australia has less passing outside Australia is more passing actually something not like that it's because Australia people are working actually and then also so their study hours are some cases less actually all right you know next coming is actually so previous slide let me highlight like Thailand India Singapore Turkey because it's quite a popular among Asian people to go to Australia also a lot of UK people also go to Australia a lot of UK doctors also go to Australia uh, so from anywhere they migrate but from Asian because of the weather it's very popular actually because if you ask an indian person Bangladeshi person to go into the uk canada it's too cold especially canada is too cold yeah people get adjusted it's, it's like matter of fact actually anywhere you go if you i think send people in moon you know they can also get adjusted actually at certain point human bodies are like that but in australia it's very nice because you can wear good clothes actually in the summer most of the time it's summer so you can wear like comfortable clothes like this so it's more easy in that case actually all right so this is some of the things and important you know some popular center thailand india singapore and turkey also has a center some people also took it and these centers got booked more early than others that's why i mentioned them as a popular center not for passing that all right so this is the important thing next coming is talk about countries have multiple centers is australia usa china india they have multiple centers actually all right and some popular country where ames is quite popular but does not have any relevant center example if you see i am from bangladesh i'm recording today this one from bangladesh right now so no centers in bangladesh pakistan dubai among the some of the popular country where a lot of IMGs are taking AMC exam. All right, unfortunately not. We're recording it in April 2023. I hope so in future there will be some updates. All right, so um, where they go, most people go to India in that case, actually uh, very easy for Bangladeshi people. Pakistani people don't go to India, they go to nearby like um, Thailand or Singapore. So India has a lot of, you know, centers, as we mentioned earlier, and these are some of the lot of centers in India. I wish, you know, one to center we can get actually in Bangladesh or one can be sent in Pakistan. Actually, things would have been more easy. So you can see so many centers. Uh, some I highlighted red. It's because of actually not again for passing rate, but more important regarding actually uh, good, you know, you know, um, you know, flight routes like there's a lot of flight to Delhi, a lot of flights to Mumbai, a lot of flights to Chennai. You know, you don't have to again change plane again and again before your exam. So you may get direct flight in these countries, actually. That's why I highlighted trade. So multiple centers in India, some MC centers where popular flight international flights. All right. So this is something. Next is USA has so many Pearson centers for SAT, GMAT, many things. So many of them conduct MC exam, actually. So many names out there actually as you can see canada also has multiple centers because of the same reason pearson and so conduct a lot of you know you know regional exam gmat sat and they have their own exams actually yeah all right now one center a lot of countries previously i show uh that new zealand auckland but there's like more countries actually maybe you live nearby example london is of course like uk uh, if you can go like you know to London for the exam. Mm. It's also fine, actually. Some people have family there. Some people have friends there. You can always go there if you have an invitation. Then, you know, Germany, you know, you can go to Frankfurt, Germany and can take the exam. You can also go to, um, yeah, it's in Madrid and there's like countries like Greece. It's a very nice country. You can also go visit around after your exam, actually. Of course, the exam is the main hurdle <laughs> during the exam time. Looks crazy, you know, when I'm saying, you know, you can travel after the exam, but it's okay it's about part of life you know if you want to travel you know if i had would have been in your place um then i choose a country after the exam i can be relaxed actually that's the thing i took my in, part one in from india so it was uh 
that time. So uh, India has a lot of places to visit as well. I mean, so that time maybe I don't have that much money to go to take my exam in Greece actually, yeah. All right, so Greece has a center actually, you can go and take from Greece. You can also go to Hong Kong. It's very popular for, you know, the flight routes actually you can go to Hong Kong and you know take the exam as well. Also, there are centers like Philippine. You know, Philippine has also centers you can take. You know, Philippine centers actually. Mm -hmm. So far, these are the updates we have actually. Some doctors still ask these things like, do I do? Does my country is having a center or not? In that case, you know, you can go to www.amc.org.au. They have a chat option. You can also ask them. In that case, actually, and if you have more feel free to ask in the comment section all right uh, again you know like you know which center should i prefer the center is near to you you know you, you might i ask me the same question again i'm just trying to cut down some of my questions actually which center should i prefer i mean you should prefer like the center which is near to you you should take try to take that one all right there's no reason you know you can take in another center in another country or another district no reason just go to the nearby one i hope you like the video don't forget to subscribe to the channel this is dr sharier your mc mentor have a lovely day bye bye